Namaste, Soul Circle. I'm Candace. And I'm Steven. And we're from Arcana Mind, Body, Spirit here in Toronto, Canada. And today is the first episode of our astrology series. Nice. Today we are talking about Pisces. Yay, Pisces rising. Pisces rising in the house. We thought it'd be great to start here because we are about to enter Pisces season. Pisces sun sign is from February 19th to March 20th. This mutable water sign ruled by Neptune and Jupiter has the strengths of compassion, intuition, creativity, wisdom, and all with a gentle nature. But for those of you who are just now looking into the stars and planets for introspective self-discoveries, it's helpful to understand the influence of the sign's elements, qualities, and the ruling planets. Mm -hmm. Steven and I started our free year-long program, Conscious Co-Creation, with the entire month of January discussing the ins and outs of all the elements. So hit the button below, like and subscribe to not miss another video, as well as find our week of honoring the water element, which is Pisces. <laughs> so a quick overview of water signs. They are the most recognizably known as the element of emotions, intuitions, sensitivity, healing, and the deep unconscious parts of ourselves. Mutable signs such as Pisces are adaptable, resourceful, and usually have many different sides to their personality and interests. Uh, they're changeable like a chameleon. My daughter is a Cancer. My husband is a Cancer. My <laughs> mother is a Cancer. <laughs> she is My a Pisces rising. I'm a Pisces rising, a Cancer moon. My father is a Scorpio. My sister's a Scorpio. My brother's a Scorpio. It's just this Aries woman just surrounded by water. In, in, a, a float <laughs> in a sea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turning our attention to the ruling planets of Pisces, we have the mysterious Neptune. Grandfather energy. Which is connecting us to the past and the future while simultaneously harnessing our deepest emotions, both good and bad. What disappoints us greatly might actually open us up to the possibilities of our lives. Pisces' other ruling planet is Jupiter, also the ruler of Sagittarius, which makes perfect sense because Jupiter represents travel. As well, Jupiter pushes us to our highest potential, reaching there with lessons learned, purpose, faith, and hope. Jupiter is our teacher. So um, I don't know about you, but I've had a lot yes. of requests for birth charts. Um, I've actually did a bunch for my friends for Christmas and looked into my family um, and, and all their charts, which was really, really interesting. Um, so if, yeah, if you're interested in learning more about your nail chart, um, we definitely do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can actually go to our the Arcana website, mm -hmm. which is arcanamindbodyspirit.com. And under our shop, you can actually purchase a natal chart session, which has been super popular over the last few weeks. Everyone, I think, is very interested in seeing mm -hmm. their, their birth chart and um, finding out a little bit more about who they are. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. You think that it's just going to be a generalized kind of thing. And the more you read and you really like zone in on each of those planets, you really see how specific it is for yeah. each person. And we go deep, Very let specific. me tell you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get an overview of Piscean traits. Let's start with their strengths. Pisces are compassionate. They are very creative. They're talented and more specifically artistic and musically inclined. Mm -hmm. They're hopelessly romantic and they're extremely imaginative, very dreaming, loyal, selfless, and one of the most tolerant of all the Zodiac. That, that tracks, I can see how that, that's me. <laughs> or at least how I present. It's how you present to the world, <laughs> That's how I present and then they Until find you the burn truth. it all down. <laughs> That said, let's speak on the weaknesses of a Pisces, or rather areas to be aware of in order to navigate through all that life can throw at us. Sometimes our weaknesses can be the very thing that bring us through and out of a dark space and into living our best lives. For a Pisces, that can be overly trusting, um, being fearful, mm -hmm. um, prone to deep feelings of sadness. There's also a desire to escape the realities of life, which might sound typical for anybody, but for a Pisces, these feelings can feel overwhelming and dominant. With these behaviors um, can come victimization um, or finding that others take advantage of them. 
this also goes along with often playing the martyr. Mm. Yeah. When I was younger, I had two best friends who were Pisces. And they used to get yelled at every day in school because they were living in these sort of dream-created lives. They were like the make-believe people, you know? Mm -hmm. And they were just always in that state. And I used to love their imagination. Mm -hmm. And I always go back to that sort of, like, if you picture that translating into an adult world, mm -hmm. right? There can be some, some downsides to that. Yeah, it can be a little hard. Yeah. Pisces love and value their alone time. They love privacy, but they also love their freedom. They love sleeping, which is a great escape for them. And a lot of Pisces I know are very spiritually inclined. Um, mm. They're very romantic, visual artists. They love swimming, music, nature, and that being and feeling wanted. That's a very important quality for them. Mm -hmm. um, they can be a shy flirt. Um, a Pisces probably noticed you before you notice them giving you eyes from across a dark room. <laughs> <laughs> a Pisces hates a know-it-all and being criticized, feeling constrained. Um, in general, they have a low tolerance for violence, cruelty of any kind. Because they are such dreamers, um, they can often be very forgiving, true romantics. Nothing could be worse for a Pisces than the past coming back to haunt them. Mm. Yeah, those are their, their main dislikes, I'd say. Let's talk birthstones. So aquamarine is traditionally the birthstone that for Pisces, but mm -hmm. often you also see amethyst. Aquamarine makes perfect sense because it's dreamers seeking out adventure. Mm -hmm. While amethyst works perfectly because of deep thinking and relaxed spiritual nature of a Pisces. All right, so let's talk tarot. Mm. Within the major arcana, Pisces is represented by the moon card, which makes perfect sense with the dreamy attributes of the Pisces. Um, when you look at the card, the water below the moon represents your subconsciousness. Um, the crab, the little crab that's um, emerging from the water is us moving from unconscious to conscious. And the dog and the wolf um, howling wildly at the moon on either side is both the tamed and wildest parts of our minds. So we harness our personal power by being able to understand and use our dreams to guide us listen to our intentions, and recognize the ebbs and flows of our emotions. Be careful not to let people take advantage of you. Um, relish in true, healthy connections, and be gentle with your heart. Now, if tarot is something that you're interested in, it is one of our services that we offer too. We yeah. love tarot and the symbolism mm -hmm. and the, the journey of the fool. We do love doing those sessions with you. Arcana. Arcana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about compatibility. The most compatible signs for Pisces are the fellow water signs, Cancer and Scorpio, along with earth signs like Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, which tracks considering that water and earth signs always work well together, mm. which means I have zero hope in hell ever hooking up with a Pisces. <laughs> I love you guys, though. You're really good medicine for me. I love having the dreaming energy of Pisces. I, I, like, I think I that if them. I was with a water sign, it might be a bit much. I'd probably just be really frustrated a lot. <laughs> but also, like, getting into the emotional, like, whatever's with them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm married to Cancer, and I do love that, so... Mm. You just moved the other balance. water sign. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so for a deeper understanding of any of these signs, be sure to hit like and subscribe and that little bell right there so that you never miss any of our videos. Um, we are going to be doing a video per month as we enter the different zodiac signs. So by the end of the year, you will know every single one of the signs yeah. of the zodiac. We're excited for you. And up next is... Aries. Aries, which is actually the first sign of the zodiac. So we're jumping back to the beginning of the wheel. Here we go. Here we go, baby. I like being number one. What can I say? Of course she does. I'm always first. <laughs> she always <laughs> must win. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us today, guys. Namaste. Much love.